In the last video, I gave you a brief introduction to Chai, and in this video, we are going to combine Mocha and Chai to actually create our first test in JavaScript. This video is part of a full course on smart contract testing on Eat the Blocks Pro. In this course, I'll teach you how to use the test-driven development approach to develop your smart contract with the Truffle framework. If you want to have access to the source code of the free episode, go to the website of Eat the Blocks Pro and create a free account by clicking on sign up. All right, so with this being said, let's get started and go to your terminal. So first I create a directory that I will call Mocha Chai. And then I step into it and I initialize an empty NPM project. All right, let's clear up my screen and let's install Mocha and Chai. So NPM shorthand syntax, just I and another short X syntax to save to the package.json dash uppercase s and then mocha chai. Okay, and now if I cut my package.json, I should see mocha and chai in here. I can see them here. Cool. Okay, let's clear up my screen. And now we'll start to write some code. So if you remember what I said in the test driven development video, I mentioned that we need to first write the test and then we need to write the implementation to make the test pass instead of first writing the implementation and only after the test. So that's what we're going to do. But still, we need a sort of a very simple implementation just to be able to run our test because otherwise it will not work at all. So we'll create a basically an empty implementation. So let's create a file called uh, mat.js uh, and we will create a very simple function that just add two number. So I create this file and then I go into it and then I define my add function and this add function is going to take two parameter and for the moment it's not going to do anything at all and we're just going to export this. All right, and now let's create another file. So this time it will be the test file. So we'll call this math.test.js. And so now let's go into this file. Okay, so this is an empty file. And oh wait, yeah, so here quickly about the naming of the test file. So I've reused the first name of the implementation file and I added a test.js to really make the difference between the test and the implementation. But if you want, you can uh, create a directory called test and when you will run the Mocha test runner, it will collect all the tests automatically in the test folder. Uh, since we are doing something very simple here, I don't need to create a folder just for this, this single test file. But for most of your project, you probably will want to put your test in a specific test file. After I'm going to import into this test file my implementation. So I'm going to use ES6 destructuring feature here. So const add and equal require math. And I also need to require chai, the assertion library. So I go to a new line and I define a variable called assert because we're going to use the assert style of chai and I require chai that we just installed just before and when you require chai right away you need to decide which assertion style you're going to use so in our case we're going to use asserts so very simply we just do dot assert so next we are going to define a describe block. So a describe block is something that comes from Mocha and that allows you to regroup in a same unit different tests that are related. So let's go to a new line and to define our describe block, we'll uh, call a function that's called describe basically like this. And so don't freak out if uh, we don't define this describe function before Mocha is going to take care of importing this function into this module. So we don't need to do anything. And the first argument of describe is the name of the group of tests. So in our case, all our tests will be uh, relevant for the add function. So between 
uh, single quote, uh, let's just type add and parentheses. So it means that all these tests are related to the add function and then comma. And then the second argument will be a callback function. And inside this callback function, we will define all our tests. So uh, we don't pass any argument. And here we open the curly braces and let's make some space. Okay, so we are inside our describe block. The next thing that Mocha does for you is importing an other function that is called it. And so it define an individual test. So same thing, we call this function like this, it, and inside we describe this test. So the first thing that our function should do is it should add two number. So here between single quote should should add two numbers and you close the string and then it will also accept a callback so we're not going to uh, give it any argument and let's open the curly braces and make some space and that's inside this callback that we're going to write our first test the first thing to do in a test is to arrange the data in other words we will create some fake data that will feed to our function for the test. So let's define a first variable a that is equal to one, and then another variable b that is also equal to one, and we're going to add these two numbers with the add function, basically. Next, in the arrange act assert pattern, this is the act pattern, which means that we will actually run the function that we will test. So let's define a variable to collect the result and we'll call this variable actual and then we'll execute the add function that we imported from our implementation and we're going to pass it the two variable a and b that we just created before and the last thing we need to do is assert and the last thing we need to do in the arrange act assert pattern is assert so in this assert pattern we're going to compare the value that we got from the add function to the expected value. So let's make use of the assert variable that we require from Chai and we are using the assert style. So assert and one of the assertion of the assert style is equal. So dot equal. And then uh, the first argument will be the actual variable that we are testing. So that's actual. And we are expecting one plus one equals two yeah very good math skill all right so let's save our file and let's go back to our terminal and let's clear up our screen and now we are going to run this so on my computer i've installed mocha globally so i can just run my tests with the mocha command but if you have just installed mocha in your project then what you need to do is to basically target the binary that is located in a node module so it will be node modules and then dot bin and then mocha and then we need to give it the name of our test file so that's math.test.js all right let's run this and our test is failing and that's a good thing because when you haven't written the implementation yet, you want your test to fail. That proves that the test is working because if the test was not failing, that means that there is something wrong with, you, with your test because we haven't written any implementation yet. So we are happy. The next step is to actually write the implementation so that when we rerun the test, it actually passed this time. As an exercise, try to do it yourself and I'm going to give you the solution in the next video in which we will also finish this test.